This video feature, brought to you by Concrobium Mold Solutions, eliminates and prevents mold, bleach-free and guaranteed. This video tool tour is all about cordless drills and understanding the different features. This is the chuck, that's what you call the end of the drill right here, and it can grip things, most commonly a drill bit. Uh, it can also drive screwdriver tips and, and other implements. Down here there's the battery. It uh, slips in and out when you need to charge it. This is an 18 volt drill here. It's a good overall size for general homestead and self-reliance use. This section here is the most important. There's lots going on here. And the first thing has to do with this ring. It rotates into three different positions. The drilling position, which is what it's lined up with now, means that the drill bit turns with the full force of the drill. There's no slippage permitted, just ordinary rotation. It spins back and forth and you're going to get the full torque of the drill as you work. If I rotated the collar so that the screw icon was lined up with the triangle, I would have variable clutch control. And that's ideal for driving screws to a consistent length without having to eyeball it all the time. This collar here rotates into different numerical positions and the higher the number, the more torque is delivered before that clutch slips. So you can adjust that depending on the size and depth of screw you want to drive. The higher the number, the more torque is delivered, the lower the number, the less. Now here we've got the hammer icon. When I rotate that collar into the hammer position, so it's lined up with the triangle, it's ideal for drilling in masonry of all kinds. And what happens is the drill bit rotates just as it normally does, but it also vibrates back and forth in a short stroke way many times a second. And that makes for a much quicker drilling action in any kind of masonry, at least three or four times as fast. So it's really a worthwhile feature in a general purpose drill. Now here you have the slide gear shift. It's in the number one position now. And that almost always means a slow speed, relatively slow speed, and lots of power. I can slide that to reveal the number two mark, and that's a, a faster RPM setting, but with correspondingly less power. Now one other thing I want to point out here, not all drills have this. Uh, it's generally called a fuel gauge. Uh, it really just shows you the state of charge of the battery at a glance. You push this button here and the different lights light up and it indicates how much juice there's left in the battery.